Hi, very warm welcome to you. It's Gene from Avstar. After receiving a few emails uh, regarding uh, an article that CNN had put out and a few other, um, over a few other months ago, uh, other news um, and mainstream organisations had put out regarding the Earth's core, had stopped and rotated. And they're the same, it's it has gone into rotation. We're going to just talk about that and how it might affect um, the magnetic poles, even if it doesn't. We'll, talk, we'll just discuss it. And how it might not or how it might um, big thanks to those that have been supporting us over the last few months and um, you know we definitely encourage a few that used to to come back you know we've not gone anywhere but having said that we'll leave a link at the end of the video and if you want to um, donate the links there or you can join us on patreon it's entirely up to you so let's move on with this so we have had you know more than a few emails bringing our attention to this article that was put out just over a week ago or 10 days ago and it's um you can see the the title earth's core has slowed down so much it's moving backwards scientists confirm here's what it could mean now the word i would point out in this title is the use of the word could because it doesn't mean that it has so let's have a look at what they're showing us and uh, so that you some of you guys get a better idea so is the inner core of the earth which is that little ball and that's slowing down in relationship to the mantle which is just beneath the crust of the earth and they they say it's not just slowed down but it's actually gone into reverse now the reason or how they know this is through the study over years um, studying seismic waves so when we have an earthquake that ripple from the earthquake in at the surface will travel through different materials now there are different uh, seismic waves that they study so just two that they talk about here are p waves which are pressure waves and s waves which are shear waves p waves uh, move through all materials liquid and solids but s waves don't there is another um, seismic wave that comes to mind which is a Raleigh wave and I think there's another one but I can't think of the name of that now but in this particular article they're talking about those two types of seismic waves so if we go down to just what I I thought was relevant is uh, where they're talking about how they track the waves and obviously what they're looking for is the shadow as it passes through the most dense material or that core it will show up a shadow at some point and it's i think it's by them studying the shadow position will give them an idea as to the rotation of the inner core but i think the most important thing about this article is the fact that what they say here which i've highlighted highlighted by tracking the seismic waves from the earthquakes that have passed through the Earth's inner core along similar paths since 1964, the authors of the 2023 study found that the spin followed a 70-year cycle. Now, I think that's relevant because it's a 70-year cycle. Now, we don't get a magnetic reversal every 70 years, do we? So I think we can outrule uh, any effects to the uh, Earth's magnetic field which is generated by the magneto even though this is something that's taking place in the core of our earth where the magneto generates the magnetosphere and our dipoles which we track here at the observatory so it's nothing to do with that because if it was we would see a magnetic reversal every 70 years we don't and we know that 70 uh, 70 year cycles are well out the scope of the um, regular routine uh, 350,000 year cycles of a magnetic reversal and I know that the last magnetic reversal was 780,000 years ago so something definitely has changed in our core um, over that period of time because we're half a million years overdue a completed magnetic reversal but even on the scale of excursions if we go back 12,000 years we know that uh, the earth didn't complete a magnetic reversal at that point but even 12,000 years is well out the scope of a 70 year cycle so I think by looking at this article we can rule out the fact that whatever's taking place that these scientists are studying at the moment with regards to you know pressure waves and shear waves and studying of the shadow zone 
uh, as it goes through the most dense material and comes out as a shadow on the other side, uh, we can safely say that this won't have any effect on the Earth's magnetic um, poles at the moment. And to confirm that as well, uh, we, are, we have seen a very, very slight increase in the, uh, you know, the traveling speed of the magnetic North Pole, which is what we monitor here at the observatory. And even though it's been a slow increase, it has not been enough yet to trigger that, um, that point of acceleration that we've been expecting. So, um, you know, in two days time, we're gonna do another magnetic North Pole positioning. And if you want the uh, coordinates of that position of the magnetic pole, please follow us on Patreon. And, um, you know, if you'd like to just support us in general, what we do here, uh, then there's a link down there, PayPal link, which you can, you know, chip in a few books because this is important. This, what we talk about when we talk about the, um, you know, the magnetic poles reversing on our planet is important to the climate for the reasons that we pointed out, you know, more weakening of the magnetosphere allows more cosmic rays in, more cosmic rays allows more seeding platforms in the jet streams. And when the jet streams get laden with water, as the, um, you know, the water condenses on these uh, smaller particles, then we get um, fracturing of the jet streams. It's those fractures of the jet streams that, you know, intertwine from polar to subtropical regions, <coughs> excuse me, uh, where we get the hot and cold airs mixing with, you know, uh, clouds that are holding a lot of water moisture. Of course, when it cools down, it precipitates out of them. And that can lead to, you know, record breaking um, precipitation, which causes floods, as we've been seeing, which are on the increase over the last at least 20 years. And you guys know how it affects us as well. You know, first and foremost, a weakened magnetosphere uh, will increase the risk of cancer as these cosmic particles come through um, and it will also um, shut down arable agricultural land which we need for growing and more so now than ever you know there are over eight billion of us on this planet and you know it is essential that we have staple foods and it's those staple foods that are in um, shortness right now as a result of a few a few things not just a small conflict in ukraine but you know these floods and droughts that are taking place all around the world as a result of the malfunctioned jet streams so you know it's a very important topic to climate magnetic pole reversal is uh, because we can see it directly as effect we draw in as well another area of science which is the solar uh, constant uh, the studying of our sun solar physics because we've seen over the last three cycles you know a decay in the amount of sunspots that are produced by our sun and as a result that weakens the heliosphere which is like a magnetosphere that protects the whole of our solar system when we get low outputs of solar activity that heliosphere shrinks and of course then we get more cosmic rays into the solar system to start with and if we've got a weakened magnetosphere on our planet then we're going to get more of that it's going to be a compounded effect as a result of having a weakened magnetosphere we are going to end up with more cosmic rays in our upper atmosphere interacting with uh, particles that are in the atmosphere and again, as we've mentioned, it goes through the jet stream cycle. So I'll leave it at that. I think we've got to the heart of this topic. And, you know, even though it was an interesting topic, I do thank, um, you know, you guys for sending me, emailing me this over. Um, I did find it a little strange that everyone uh, all of a sudden had started sending this article. So I thought, you know, this is something worth sharing with everybody so that, you know, in future, um, when they talk about the rotational speed of the inner core, for now, it doesn't mean that it's going to affect the uh, magnetic poles on our planet because it is a very small cycle of 70 years in comparison to excursions, which are the last one was 12,000 years, and full magnetic reversals, which was 780,000 years. So I hope you know we've cleared that up for a lot of you guys out there. Please join us um, in a couple of days' time. We're going to be doing a positioning of the magnetic north pole position. If you want the coordinates of that, 
join us there and maybe tomorrow we'll do an earth alpha at a glance just before we do have a look at the new coordinates so for now you guys take care links down below if you want to help support and i really do uh wish uh that we could see a few more uh come back to us here at the observe train who knows if we get a few more we might put the positioning on youtube as well once again um for you guys okay you take care as always bye for now